it's Matthew. I'm here in beautiful Westmoreland. Actually, it's a part of the parish I've never been to. And I'm going to meet an original old school screen print artist named Bug. And I'm super excited. I've been following him for a long time on Instagram. And I've been collecting these old billboard party posters or party billboards for years. If you've been to Jamaica, you've seen these all over the country at the side of the road, promoting parties, events barbecues, festivals, all kinds of cool stuff. And they're all originally either hand painted or screen printed. And it's just such a cool style. It's got such a Jamaican flavor to it. I can't imagine anything that fits the vibe of Jamaican better than this art that you see all over the street. So yeah, today we're gonna go visit Bug. We're gonna catch up with him in his studio as he's doing some screen printing, learn about his artwork, learn about his history and I'll link them all below, so please do check out Bug. But anyway, I'm just about a 10 minute drive away, so let's rip it over to Bug's house. Bug, it's so awesome to be here. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for hosting me. So what do we have going on today? Right, what are you so working on? I'm working on a couple, about 100 screen printing boards that uh, a party is getting thrown like on the 30th of December, so we gotta, you know, paint up the street, you know, put them up all over so that people can see that stuff happening. Jamaica is open again and stuff like that. So I'm the go-to guy in Westmoreland when it comes to like billboard designs and yeah. hand-painted stuff. Yeah, I'm one of them go-to guys. And I've been doing this for like about 10 or so years now. It's hard to say, I, I hardly <laughs> keep documents until recently i have yeah. to be you know posting stuff and everything gets dated and stuff like that so what we are working with today is a vinyl on a mesh and this is an a old form of printing as you guys probably see on my instagram like it's very old it's no machine involved the only machine gets involved is a computer that we use and design the necessary cutouts for the colors uh -huh. and stuff like that but everything is you know hand done hand screen printed <laughs> the old school way the old school way and that's part of the beauty of it because when i drive around jamaica i see all these amazing hand printed signs for all the independent businesses something in north america it's like everything's just this manufactured corporate stuff every town can kind of look the same but when you drive around jamaica everything everything's different. unique you yeah. know and that's part and of the vibe of jamaica one of the vibe of being an artist in jamaica is you know you can go through a town or a community or even a parish and uh me because i know a few artists around in and around jamaica i can definitely see the the design style or the hand style and i can identify a person <laughs> by their design that's yeah great. for real it's low tech as i said so all of these parts that aren't getting used we are gonna have to tape them out right. so i think that's the beauty of it though is it's like a slight it's like a rougher edge when i see this kind of stuff and I've been seeing some of these newer graphic printed full on like million color type party promotions. I'm like, no, I, it doesn't I, look good I, anymore. I, I tell people all the time, like I have friends that do all of that, but I kind of hate it because, you know, single colors, they attract the eye. You want persons to see like full on what you're trying to promote, what the event and stuff like that. And, you know, these boards, they get read instantly. You know, totally. To, yeah. So recognizable from a mile away. Um, you can um, see oh, that's the party. The yeah. pink and the blue. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely that. I feel you. Yeah. And I mean, I, I mean, when I first started coming here in 2010, it was only this type of yeah, flyboard. Yeah, only. And now um, I'm seeing the newer stuff and I feel the same. I'm kind of thinking, well, oh that's, no. That's, that's kind of an innovation because guess what? Those machines that does the... The vinyl prints, they cost like uh, 2 million Jamaican dollars and wow. not everyone can afford that, you mm -hmm. know? So, yeah, a lot of guys have been investing in all of that, but that was a thing for like business. It wasn't a thing for, for sign printing and sign painting. But now a lot of people can afford that. So they try to, you know, skip away from the, the original. Let's say yeah. the original. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes 
things take a turn and it take a turn for the worse. Yeah. Because a lot of people, international people, they, they, they hate that. They always like, ah, oh, they're messing up the business and stuff like that. So now we got a, like we're using a primrose yellow and it's going inside the blue and what? inside the pink. So you've already done your two layers first? Yeah. We did, I did a foundation print. I call it the foundation print because that's the start print. That's the most important print. Okay. Uh, so it kind of catches all the edges and stuff like that. So now we don't have to know, like put it in a vise or something like that. We can just, you know, drop it and print. Okay. So the technology assistant part is, is being able to get it lined up pretty much perfectly? <laughs> that, that's my, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what I normally use on a computer to have it done is uh, uh, a design, uh, a software called Corel Draw. Yeah. Yeah, Corel cool. Draw, and everything from that gets hand done. Even putting it on the screen and so forth, yeah. everything else is hand done. So, is a hundred billboards is that a, a normal amount for yeah, a customer that's, that's regular kind of that's standard very standard okay. i always tell people like i only i don't print less than 50. yeah because the same setup it takes to print one it takes the same setup to print 100. uh-huh yeah i'm like that with food when i cook something i cook like a week's worth because the setup time i don't want to deal with it yeah i'll it's eat the same thing same, every day it's the same <laughs> setup yeah so you're just cutting time and all of that. Batching. Yeah. <laughs> so is the supplies and stuff pretty easy to get in Jamaica? Very we, easy to yeah. get in Jamaica. I buy from a local company called Stream Art and Supplies. Yeah. Everything else I get like Pings Fabrics for the material, the mesh and so forth, your local hardware store for the wood. Yeah. And my squeegees, uh, I order them from like oh. Amazon. Look at that so, pop! It just pops yeah, so it hard. Just pop right off. Whoa! Yeah. That's what I mean. It's like a beautiful simplicity of just having two or three colors to work with. Exactly it, that. It, I yeah. You don't have to, you know, load your mind up with all of that, and you know, trying to look on something for the beauty and not being able to read it. Yeah. Yeah. That so is so nice. And you don't even need a rack or anything. You just lay it right on top. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> just so lay it right on top. so wicked yeah yeah those just pop yeah it just pop right off and one the good thing about me and colors is i i work well with you know colors <laughs> for some reason i was I, gonna say everything i i see you it it really has a definitive style like you said i'm sure other artists look go around and see oh that's a bug piece yeah. right there they, mm -hmm. they don't have to look for they a half a second mm -mm. they're like that's bug right there yeah like even with this crazy one with the the pink and green and black that's that's the style of it yeah but it takes some skill to be able to select this kind of stuff i mean that's exactly that the exactly. artist side not everyone has that that eye not everyone has that eye i it's it's i would say it's a, it's a lot of trial and error because mm -hmm. i've uh, in the start of things i wasn't this good but you know working on something for over a period of time you know you can really okay i i didn't do as well on that let's try to you know take a different approach on it and mm -hmm. you know stuff like that so over a period of time you, you you can actually count your losses and just you know sit down at the table and say hey okay how can i do this better innovation you know innovate mm -hmm. innovate innovate let's change up that one let's you know not let all of them look the same or you know stuff like that do you ever have need for an assistant or anything like that or you're able to rip all, through everything on your own all the much? time but you know young people these days they're turning away from all of this for mm. some reason I'm, I'm i'm i turn 30 wednesday coming and i'm one of the youngest in the business yeah yeah uh, that's so cool though that you're keeping it <laughs> keeping it on right because it it is as technology progresses going to become more of a lost art right exactly yeah that's that's the shit that's, that's it. the shit we, we gotta <laughs> deal with you know being in jamaica everyone you know 
we didn't grow up around computers so now that computers and smartphones and gadgets have been a thing it's like we're losing all of this you know okay let's do it manually mm -hmm. everyone wants to do it okay automatic 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 you know go on the computer print a hundred yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's that's just taking the, the the human element away from all of that true yeah but with all uh, what with all that innovation you know comes opportunity comes opportunity because it's a reason why i'm busy seven days of the week yeah yeah it's a reason why i'm busy seven you got days. any young proteges that want to work with you yeah no they all fall out when they hear about the money they're like okay you make a hundred thousand in space uh, one week or so okay they're interested in the hundred thousand but guess what they're not interested in the 20 hours worth of work <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's like okay pockets full uh -huh. i'm good <laughs> i feel like people want that with video too they think doing video oh you just put it on youtube and you make money no do it every, every I've, week for 10 years i've heard that then let's see where you're at i've heard that it's I've, it's less than 0.1 percent <laughs> that actually make a living off it right mm -hmm. so but and there's so much but people sell it as the easy thing or they say they see people on TikTok. even even whatever, what do you know. what do you call this new job they got going uh what influencer yeah influencer yeah. <laughs> okay I'm, I'm gonna be an influencer until one week of it and you only get like probably one subscriber or you know three views yep. <laughs> and five follows you're like okay this shit's not working out no. and it takes money yeah everything's a grind there's no shortcuts no in sh anything and all this stuff that people are selling as the kind of quick way unfortunately is not true and mm -hmm. people find out the hard way but there's still this idea that oh yeah you just like you make content and boom there you go no 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 the no. idea yeah the idea i've i've seen i've i've because i love watching like the grind and when bloggers or so forth tell you like telling you about them being on the stairs versus you know someone that wants to take the elevator up and mm -hmm. they're like hey it's some some bloggers even tell you that hey there was a time when i bought views just to make it look like <laughs> i was i was successful <laughs> so it's, it's shit like that that's play with the mind it's most of the times it's what you can't see you know cloud vision well those shortcuts are completely fake because it it doesn't yeah. matter what your numbers are what it comes down to is having actual true fans of your work that's true. That's the only thing that makes a difference. There's this essay by a guy called Kevin Kelly called 1,000 True Fans. <laughs> All these people want millions and millions of fans. Yeah. But the truth is, if you're a real artist and build an audience that actually likes what you do, true fans that are willing, you know, if you're a musician, they're willing to go to every show, they buy every t-shirt, they, they, yep. they support you. You don't need a million. All you need is 1,000, and you can make a good living from that. So Tell you what. I, I met this guy on Instagram back in my early years of Instagram. I'm telling you about my first two years on Instagram. And this guy was telling me, oh, I can sell you like a million views for that. And I'm like, no, I don't want views, man. I want, you know, people that actually love my work. Yeah, that's you how know? you get it. The real. The, the real. real people. There's no shortcut. I don't want like me posting a video and I'm like 1,000 views and so forth. Like, no, that's 1,000 machines. Yeah, it, me it means nothing. It's just a number, and, and people kind of try to use that for clout. Yeah, but at the end of the day, clout. they're not going to get paid anymore from it. They, they just spent money on a fake number. Yeah, so that's no, it's for so, real. So funny. And the most successful people are the people that, like, you know, do it out of love. Yeah, yeah. exactly. They, like, I always say, you know, chase your passion. Whatever it is that, you know, you love doing, just do it. Don't worry about the money. The money will come. You know, the money will come. Whether you're doing it for money or not, it will come. That's so true. Yeah. When everyone else around here in my community used to, okay, I'm the best runner in my yard, or I'm the best soccer player, or best, you know, whatever. We were like having joint competitions. Yeah. Nice. We were having joint <laughs> competitions, you know, because uh, my mom's a dressmaker, my 
uh, sister, she just found her creative bone. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, she found her creative bone like three years ago. And this girl's like 40. <laughs> nice. She just found her creative bone. And she's been, you know, doing uh, bikini designs. No way. Yeah, she lives in Florida now. Yeah. And she just found her creative bone. I have nephews that are artists as well. Yeah. Wow. But they love the digital stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there's all kinds of ways to be. Don't get me wrong, though. I, I love technology and all of that, but I prefer this. For sure. I prefer this one at a time. <laughs> it's so rad. Yeah, one at a time, man. So how long does it take you to do like a three color print like this to do go through okay. 100? I always keep a clock. Sometimes I have my clock hanging up on the wall somewhere. Uh, I try to do a hundred prints in like an hour. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. wild. So keeping time, you know? A hundred an hour. Yeah, a hundred an hour. Ah. Yeah. Sometimes I gotta be doing like 400 of these. <laughs> yeah, for real, 400. For a big party. For, for a big party. I don't call them party, I call them events. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So who puts them all up everywhere? The That's another job. That's another big job. The, the promoters. Yeah. Yeah. They, they go around with nails, hammers, and ladders. You know, just putting them up. Is it technically legal to be putting them anywhere you want? Or is there kind of some uh, unwritten rules about this stuff? There have been rules recently. Yeah. You got to pay the parish council, like, I think sometimes upwards of 1500 for one of these oh wow yeah for yeah. one for to one? Go <laughs> oh uh. my gosh i've seen the papers and it doesn't look pretty <laughs> no how's that gonna work that shit is expensive yeah yeah that sounds out of reach especially if you're putting up a hundred of them that's uh, way out of reach it's like they're pressuring the industry i say they're pressuring the industry because they are pressuring the industry it's like they're fighting in the entertainment in jamaica mm -hmm. yeah they're fighting it i hate it i hate it yeah that doesn't make any sense honestly when, when i see digital billboards like you see in florida or something like that it gets so crazy but when i see this this is literally art that's decorating the country I, I look at this kind of screen printing as completely different than these mcdonald's billboards or burger king or kfc stuff let me give you a joke so i went to i went me and my girlfriend went to tracks and records in montego bay mm. and i see them the wall decorations are the wall art and what do you think is on there uh did they take stuff like this or yeah they all of this ah. and luckily i found a one one that i did <laughs> yeah i found one that i did in tracks and records and i'm like oh these people know me <laughs> yeah okay we'll hook up the free food and drinks let's go <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i i actually give them a thumbs up you know but a lot of people be going out of somewhere buying like some printed work and putting them up on the walls and so like yeah. oh this is a nice place but it's not authentic <laughs> True. yeah that's that's the truth about it but you do a lot of hand painted signs as well right a lot a lot i've done tons and tons and tons and tons i always tell people like i paint for the parper to the politician yeah yeah i do art for like baby showers to you know yeah that yeah. i saw some cool wedding ones that you did on on wood yeah. for, for tourists coming into jamaica and stuff yeah. i i got a few of them right now i got a i got a couple of them that the delivery service is supposed to pick up probably today or tomorrow cool yeah for a wedding next week yeah, i might have to put my put a couple items in the in the queue <laughs> I don't know how long does it take you to get through normally. I guess if you had depends on how much work you have, but oh, sometimes. All right, so I, I surround myself with work because I love what I do. So I surround myself with work. So uh, after doing this now today, I got like uh, basketball probably by from four to about six, and then from four to about six when I get home. I'm painting again. You know what? It's an addiction. Yeah. Yeah, it's an addiction, man.
our prediction. I mean, if that doesn't catch your eye, you must have your head in the garbage can. Like that just flies at you. So some people have, I've seen it, sort of four different screens on a rotating thing. When I, maybe that's for t-shirts. Yeah, that's mostly for t-shirts. Okay, so it's a different style. Yeah. Same concept, but... Same concept, but different style. And sometimes the material is very different because with t-shirts we use an oil base paint versus uh, a water base for uh -huh. billboards because a billboard is going to only stay up for like about a month or so so we tend to use the the cheaper variety yeah so do you keep copies of all your old stuff uh the ones that resonate yeah yeah the ones that resonate sometimes uh are most of the times when they come back to me because as we said as i said in the beginning uh, a lot of work gets you know recycled you know mm. someone wants a board i come i they come i don't have a board i'll take this one and recycle it so sometimes they bring back boards and i just oh that's one that one's nice very nice mm. uh let's just take it <laughs> nice. yeah and sometimes i just give them away you know, sometimes people come when I'm at the, my other studio that I work from when I'm on the 9 to 5. They be coming, you know, bloggers and so forth, and like, oh, keep this one. <laughs> you know? Mm. Yeah. So, that's one of the things, you know, it's sharing. I've got, like, I've given these away to, like, bloggers from, like, Germany, Spain, mm. England, U.S., Canada. Yeah. And it's just sharing, you know, sharing the vibe. Yeah, it, if there's anything that has a Jamaica vibe to it, it's this thousand percent. Yeah. I wish you had come on a day when I was, I, I, I'd be doing like the hand painted ones. Ah, <laughs> I can come back another day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, get, I, I do a lot of hand painted ones because before these it was like strictly hand painted for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but with uh, promotion and parties and so forth, uh, you can't. I don't write on this size. I do like a hundred times bigger. Yeah, mm -hmm. like four by fours and eight by fours and two by fours. Yeah. So I know the wood price for building with ply and stuff has gone up like crazy. Has the raw material for these, what yeah. they call these ply board? Or no, what are Solitex. they? Solitex. Solitex. Has that gone up a lot too? Yeah, that has, it has like uh, doubled over the past three years. Oh man. Yeah, it has doubled. Uh, because before we could get like uh, one ply size for about uh, $1,200. Now it's like $2,500. Yeah. So, you know, even the, the small supplies like the ink and so forth, and paint and, you know, everything's gone up. Yeah, kind of the same all over the place. But yeah. well, that's a shame, yeah. It's, that's why a lot of people, you know, recycle them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're, they can actually be recycled, you know, once they don't get too damaged. <laughs> yeah. And that's the ones that collectors love. Yeah. Yeah, the ones that get recycled because it, it, it's like something from the 90s. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, it, colors burnt out and nail holes in them. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit of, uh, what do they call it in Japanese? Wabi-sabi, when something's kind of old and damaged, but there's a beauty to it. Really? That's yeah. what they call it in Japanese? Yeah, there's, a, there's some, maybe I'm saying that wrong, but there is a word for things that are the beauty of something old and kind of used compared to something brand new and that's perfect. why japanese love the art culture you know this art has been like resurrected because you know most things went down with covid yeah. so for a while i haven't been doing this but this year it has been a rush it's back in a big time because i remember driving around coming the last couple of years and thinking oh i don't see any parties going on oh man so right. All parties went underground in COVID. Like the promoters were risking it to keep a party, you know, mm. to have a party. They got parties in the middle of the cane fields, and you know, <laughs> choppers from the police. And like it's it crazy. Oh, it gets crazy when you're watching it on TikTok. Guys escaping and filming it at the same time. Yes. Like, <laughs> what are these people up to? 
<laughs> yeah, shit like that. <laughs> yeah, didn't yep. Usain Bolt get in trouble for one? Or probably uh, didn't. Probably didn't get in trouble. It's but. a Jamaican thing. Yeah. It's a Jamaican thing. For some reason, we no matter who you are, you love getting in trouble in Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Cool. One. I had to recreate that one. That is so wicked. Like the choice of color that pops so much. Yeah, that's the neon effect. Yeah. And these wicked fonts too. Yeah. I gotta be downloading fonts from like the internet for yeah. Yeah. All kind <coughs> of fonts. Yeah, and I did that one like recently nice. for a friend in England. They were like, oh, I just love that. I wish you could recreate it. So I recreated one for them, but I did one for myself or, you know, probably to just give away. You know, <laughs> I'm sweet. always giving away stuff. Yeah, always giving away stuff. All right, Bug's saying I can try one. Let's hope I don't mess it up too bad. Let's see how we do. I've been watching for a little while. Ah, I'm nervous. <laughs> Try to lay it on perfect, okay. I think I got it. This is a magic moment. Yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. A little mess up on the O. No, nah, man, no worry about that. Not <laughs> That's bad. the thing about it. Sometimes you look on the road and you see one that got messed up. You're like, oh, I remember that one. But that's part of the character to it also. Yeah. Oh, now, I, did I not wipe it off good enough? I can't see. You can't see it? No, you didn't wipe it off good enough. So you gotta... I'm gonna have to, you know, go on. Yeah, I can see a little of it. A little of it, so I see a little. So you really got to put some weight into it? No, not really. Yeah, so uh, knock it off, you wipe it clean. So you got to do it pretty hard. Yeah, got very it. hard. Got it. Because it's not, it's not fabric that absorbs everything. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's part of the beauty of it too, though, is a little bit of that roughness. It's, mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be some perfectly doesn't have lined to up. It almost gives it a cool style, like a little bit offset. Yeah, because it's not the computer or the program that's lining it up. It's actually you. Yeah. Mm. So do you need special equipment to wash it? It's just regular water? Well, it's water-based Regular paint? water. That's easy. Regular water. Okay. Wash it out. I've used like this pump bottle recently because it gets the stuff out. Okay. You know? That part of it's gonna be the green. You so know? you'll have another sticker put it down to do just mm. the green part? No, not really. We gotta I gotta like cover all of this yellow that ah. I used. Yeah, so it's not a thing of okay, there's one stream for one color. We I normally use like one stream for like sometimes three colors. Mm -hmm. It's it's a smart design. So how will you go and cover that though? Like with, you have more with sticker? Vinyl. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you can block out the whole inside of the letters, then you'll, of you'll, you'll only leave this part yeah. on the edge and then you can mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, I guess it's easy enough to block out with yeah. just covering it on top. Yeah, first. first time I had to do this, I had to do like a hundred of them. And I was like, oh, it's a headache absolutely a headache because I've never done the thing before and this one guy was like you can do it and I'm like I I, I think and he's like okay <laughs> that's enough for me to know <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but then once you do it a few times you're getting three four or five times faster just mm -hmm. lazy over a period of time you just it you, you cut the corners but you don't drop on the quality yeah like, it's like yeah me with video editing too I I used to struggle to put out one eight-minute video a week. Yeah. Now I can put out two 30-minute videos in the same amount of time. It just took me that long to get fast at editing, get my workflow. Yeah. 
exactly. There's so much to workflow with this kind of but you're stuff. Not cutting, you're cutting the corners, but you're not cutting the quality. You just found a way how to get it faster. Yeah, a lot of it is organization. I know exactly how my stuff is lined up. I know where to cut my B-roll from. I have my folder with all my drone stuff. I got my music. Like I know what I'm working with and I can just... And, and there's a... That's organization yeah, for you. And there's kind of a... After doing 500 more videos, there's this kind of style that I roll with. Even though the videos are different, it's, you know, it's my style or whatever that I'm able to keep going. So, yeah. yeah. So, that's, that's innovation, man. That's innovation. Yeah, so now I gotta cover, like, all the yellow parts, which is gonna take a little time. Uh -huh. But, yeah. And then just leave this outside. Yeah, just leave that outside. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, get from there. You know? And what color are you gonna put on it? Uh, neon green. <laughs> nice. Neon green. I love neon colors because it always, you know, say something to you. <laughs> I'm an 80s kid, so I love the neon you, too. You love the neon. Yep. So you don't yeah. have to get too fancy, just as long as it's covered. Just as long as it's covered. Form. Because it's, it's, it's just a one-time thing. It's just a one-time thing. You don't, it's not going to be used again. So you can just fuck it up. <laughs> Perfect. So we've got all these hundred ready to go for the last color. And this is the only one I noticed that turned out like this. Hey, Bug, check this. Somehow it's December. Yeah, because... It's the one in a million one. Yeah, that's the one in a million. Yeah, this one's rare. If you see this on the streets... <laughs> different. Yeah. So will you do this today or this one you're saving for next week when you're back? No, um, I, I, I wonder if I should, you know, have it done today. It's not going to take much time. The, the, the hardest part about screen printing is the setup. Mm -hmm. mm, it's the setup that's the hardest part about it, but everything else, you know, it's fairly easy. Once you get going, you get going. Once you get going, you get going, man. All you need to do is block it out. You gotta pick everything back up. They dry quick. Yeah, it's very quick. And here comes the green. Yeah. It's gonna look so crazy. Very. <laughs> Finish. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. That's the brutality move. That is it. Does Bug have your attention? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, perfect for a, a word juices. Yeah. To have some nice green <laughs> on it there. The green juice. Good stuff. Looks amazing. Yeah, man. So thanks for letting me shoot and hang out. And, and where can people find you? People can find me in Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wherever you want to be in Jamaica, man. As long as the work's there, I'm, I'm, I will be there. That's the thing. But you know, you can always find me on Instagram. Uh, bug underscore art underscore sav. Or you can find me on WhatsApp or on Facebook, man. Bug art. B U G A R T, you can see it on the shirt. Yeah. And we'll link Bug below everything, of course. So just click show more and you can see Bug. So always, man. Yeah. All right, Bug, appreciate it. Thanks so much. Always. That was amazing. Yeah.